What's up guys, welcome to Rotor Riot. Today we're here with little Stellar Fox and we're gonna teach her a new trick that she has not yet done. So today we're gonna learn how to do the Rubik's Cube. I know this is a trick a lot of people know how to do, but I've never really tried it. So uh, we're gonna do a little bit of flipping and dipping and flopping and <laughs> Flipping and dipping and flopping, that's and precisely what we're doing today. It's, if you think of a Rubik's Cube, it's like turn this thing, turn that thing. So it's like flip it, but then do a different axis and then do the other axis again. So how I do them, is a half a front flip and then a full roll back to where you were and then finish the front flip. Okay. We're gonna start with just doing the half front flip. Don't worry about doing the whole thing yet. Just do that and finish it. So like half front flip, finish the front flip. Work your way up to it. That's how kind of how I learned everything. Yeah. Because if you do it piece by piece, it'll be easier. Because once you get to that upside down phase, it feels like, oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna crash. I don't have enough time to yeah. hit the ground. The more you can do the first part without even thinking about it, then you'll have more time to think about the other part. Awesome, yeah. That's how I learned how to play songs on the piano. I exactly. do a little bit and I right. get it you up down my memory right and it. then I start another new piece after that's like ingrained. Yeah. Terrible high five. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> so just the half a front flip. Yep. Do it kind of high. And do it to where like there's nothing in front of you for a little ways. So a little bit less, woo! A little bit less sky. A little less sky. Yeah. Like that. Okay couple more of those to where you feel like you can catch it in the same spot every time. Too much. That's perfect. That was a good one. All right, looks like you got that. Do you want to try a roll now? Yeah. I will go up even a little higher. You're gonna fall quite a bit. Once you get there, just try to do a full roll. Full roll. Now you see on that, like you started off seeing a little more sky, so it- Okay. Like, that was it. The only thing you would have needed to do is catch the rest of the front flip at the right time. But just keep doing this a few times. That was good. But you see what I mean? It, yeah. like, it's more wonky when there's more sky to it. It doesn't yeah, look as Yeah, yeah. Cool. Getting those nice crisp edges. That's a good one. All right, I gotta bring this back in. Whew. I'm, I'm moist. You're like 90% there already. Hey, Ooh. as dumb as it sounds, I think I'm gonna try to do it pinching instead. I have problems reaching with my thumb. Yeah. But when I pinch, I don't have that. Maybe I'll try it the other grip style and see if that works. So there's a reason why I'm telling Jamie when she does that first half a flip not to put the horizon in the middle. Because if you have 50% sky and then 50% ground, you have to remember the tilt that you have on your GoPro. So really, once you flip that over, you're gonna lose that relationship and now you're gonna have a lot more sky than you do ground. So if you start off by having a little bit more ground than sky, as you do that roll, it's gonna maintain a closer ratio of both. If you have to lean one way or the other, I think it's better to lean towards seeing the ground more because it's just a more interesting thing to see spinning around in the sky. So if you really blew the trick completely and you didn't get anywhere near you know, seeing totally backwards and you're looking down, you could still salvage that and that looks interesting at least. Like popping up and looking straight down at the ground and doing a roll, that's appealing. But if you were to look straight up at the sky and do a roll, there's nothing to, there's no reference. You almost can't tell that you're doing a roll. It just doesn't look as good. So definitely I would say favor the ground more than the sky. Do you want to do a demo? I think we should do a yeah, I'll do some demo. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> You're almost there. You've done everything but that last part. Yeah, the last little. All uh, right, yeah, I see. But don't definitely don't they look better? Even if you were like only this much, it would still look cooler. Yeah, just because the... there's something more interesting spinning around. But... <laughs> so basically, it's just any combination of yeah. three quick it movements like, up in the air. Like that. Or like... like that. Okay, but this, the other way like, is just the one traditional. that like Vic does all the time. He kind of made it popular. And that's where it, where it gets cool, like you can do it like through gaps or something like through here. Uh, woo. Yeah, no, I've seen him do that. I just, I guess I didn't, because I'm not good with the names, I guess I didn't realize that they're all Rubik's Cubes when it's like the combination like that. Well, I think the internet would Lost probably it. say one thing is a Rubik's Cube over another. Probably. I don't know which they would say though. <laughs> I think there would probably be very differing opinions if it can be variable, so. Another thing that I personally kind of like to do is 
the last half a roll I do it slow, so like not that yeah. slow, but slower. No. This makes it like more dramatic. Oh, oh no. on the roof. Oh, oh no! <laughs> You're in the top of that. <laughs> yeah, we, we got a stick. We got a stick. We'll get it. There she is. Bam. Nice. Yay! I got my quad back. Just do exactly what I did, except for that last little tree bit. <laughs> Just do exactly. Well, I'm gonna Everything do it a little different because I'm gonna try punching oh, this yeah, time okay. too. Oh, and Drew's booty. Oh, and Drew's booty. Yeah, so you gotta try to do the complete one this time. Pretty cool that too. <laughs> but try to remember on the last part to do a front flip instead of back flip. Oh yeah, so that has that pullover. Yeah. Roll, front flip. Oh, that was a back step. And then have more ground in view on your half front foot. There it is. Front, front, front. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh, good bail. Flip, roll. Front foot. Flip. Now too late. <laughs> That's the tricky part is you're like thinking about when to stop, but you're upside down. Right now. Oh, yeah, too late. <laughs> it's a little tricky. I think you're gonna get it. It's just gonna take some practice. Yeah. Took me a long time too. It's a so, lot to think about in a short amount of time. Definitely easier with thumbs than with pinching. Yeah. I'm gonna say that. And realistically, it'd be better to do nothing but half a front flip and then finish the front flip half a so that that part's completely out of the equation because yeah, so you weren't like not even you weren't that. nailing that part every time and then messing up on the later parts. You like were a little inconsistent on the very first part. Yeah. The weird thing is like the first half, you don't actually do a full front flip because like Jeff was saying, you want to look a little bit more at the ground. So it's like- Three quarters know, of a front, or like a, yeah. a, a third of a front flip. But then flip? to finish it, you need to go extra to compensate. Yeah. So it's like one third and two thirds because it's not quite half. Oh, that sounds angry. Angry props. So when I turn them like this, if they aren't level, one's too high. So I just uh, make sure that they're level. We're learning all kinds of stuff today. How to get stuck in trees, how to fix your props. No, we're gonna get that. Well, do a couple of these. Do a half a front flip and then finish the front flip. Like hang it for a second and then finish. Yeah, do that like three or four times. You got yeah. that part perfectly. Yeah, just hold it as like long as you can. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Super long. No, no. <laughs> it's like longer, longer. Yeah, you're used to the fear. This is talking you right into the ground. More, 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 more. Now. Yeah, there, there you go. go, there you go. Front flip. Boom. Got him. Yeah, that worked great. Doing the holding and yeah, boy, I giving think it, it time so that it got me used to like uh, the hang time. Yeah, because the roll forces you to hang out longer because yeah. you're adding yeah. in a step. So you just got to not be afraid of that pavement. Front flip. Perfect. Oh, now you're doing it every time. And I think they actually look sweet when you do it slower like that. Boom. That, yeah, that's sick. I okay, think now she's got it. Take it through a gap. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, with the save. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's just gonna take a couple more packs. You said you did it for months without yeah. getting them clean enough that you were happy with them so yeah, I mean it takes time no that's awesome I feel really good about that like I'm definitely gonna be incorporating that into things now like I understand well I think it's about like finding what the pinch point is and for you it was getting over the block of doing the second front flip yeah. second half front flip so doing that once you solve that one missing piece because you had the first front flip you had the roll and it was just that last little mm -hmm. piece and then once you got it then you did you did the right move every single time. For sure though, the hang yeah. time definitely made a huge difference. Like getting the feel of where it was gonna be without adding the roll in, yeah. like you right. were saying, giving it that distance and you pushing to push it further than I wanted to go, put me out of that area that was scary to begin with right. so that I could get over the front flip part. Because yeah. like we were talking about, being able to see the ground in the back flip is safe. Yeah. But going forward, all you see is the sky. Yeah. And if you're going slow, like you were telling and saying that it looks the best, that's super scary because you don't know when you come back down where the ground is. Getting used to hang time is, is like an issue in itself. And actually, we have a video dedicated to just practicing hang time. Check the link in the description to that where I teach one of our friends, Paul, who's even newer to flying drones than Jamie, how to get used to the idea of just being upside down in the air. It's a real concept. Like Jamie, you had already gotten really comfortable with hang time, 
but just need to get even more so to then so that I can save put the maneuvers the, yeah. in there. Yeah. Right. Because hanging is a lot different than throwing three different movements. But like in there hang time, it. it's like you don't think of it as a trick, but it is. It's a trick that is a building block for yeah. all the things you need to be comfortable yeah. with hang time if you want to do an inverted yaw spin or Rubik's cube or whatever. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you learned something with uh, Jaboy Vortex and Little Stellar Fox here. Maybe you guys could uh, post a link down in the comments with your Rubik's cubes and if you have any tips that we missed out on, let us know and help other people do tricks. Definitely, tag me in any of your videos of you trying to do the Rubik's cube after watching this one. Make it happen, Captain. <laughs> <laughs>